Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to show you is how we can express cosine or cos 3 theta in terms of cos theta. And the method I'm going to show you is by using the addition formula. Cosine or cos of a plus b is identical to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. This is an addition formula that you should be familiar with. Now to do this then, what we do is if we start with writing down the cosine of 3 theta, it's identical then to the cosine of theta plus 2 theta, or you could write 2 theta plus theta, it doesn't matter which way around you do this. But I've made theta now correspond with the a, and the 2 theta will correspond with the b here. So when I expand this, okay, what we're going to get then is cos of theta multiplied by cos 2 theta, and then it's minus the sine of theta sine 2 theta. Now, we've got to express cos 3 theta in terms of cos theta not cos 2 theta or sine 2 theta here. So we've got to have some workarounds for these. Well, you should be familiar with the double angle formula for cosine of 2a, cos 2a for short. There's three versions for this, and we're only interested in the one that involves cosine. So it is 2 cos squared a minus 1. As I say, you should be familiar with this identity. So in place of cos 2 theta, I can rewrite this as 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So we can write this then as this cos theta multiplied by 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Now for this next term here, it's made up of sine theta multiplied by another double angle, sine of 2 theta. And again, you should be familiar with this identity, the identity sine 2a. It's identical to 2 sine a cos a, or 2 cos a sine a. Obviously that doesn't matter which way around we write that. So, if a represents theta, we've got the sine of 2 theta then is 2 sine theta cos theta. And I can write that in place of sine 2 theta here. So it's 2 sine theta cos theta. Okay, let's just start to expand these brackets now. So cos theta times 2 cos squared theta is going to give us 2 cos cubed theta and then cos theta times minus 1 is minus cos theta. And then we've got minus sine theta times all of this factor here. So that's going to give us minus 2 sine squared theta cos theta. So we're doing quite well. We've got several of these terms now have got cos theta in. First term's okay, this term's okay. But in this term, we've got sine squared theta. And we've got another identity that we should be familiar with. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is identical to 1. Or you could say sine squared a. It doesn't matter what the angle is, as long as you add the same angle again. So cos squared a. That's identical to 1. And if we rearrange this for sine squared a, it's identical to 1 minus cos squared a. So sine squared theta can be written as 1 minus cos squared theta. So if we write this out again, we've got 2 cos cubed theta minus cos theta, and then minus 2. Let's just write this cos theta next. And in place of sine squared theta, we've got 1 minus cos squared theta. So all we need to do now is just expand this bracket and then we can group up like terms. So we've got 2 cos cubed theta minus cos theta 
and then if we expand this we've got minus 2 cos theta plus 2 cos cubed theta. So grouping up our terms takes us now to the final result which is going to be 2 cos cubed theta plus another 2 cos cubed theta is 4 cos cubed theta and then minus cos theta minus another 2 cos theta is minus 3 cos theta. So in doing this then you've just got to use these identities up here which again as I say you should be familiar with so we'll just highlight those okay and uh, that should see you through if you've got to do something like this.